Hello everyone, my name is Patrick Frawley and I'm your product specialist for Tractorus. Today you join me here at our Class UK headquarters in sunny Saxon. And in this video we are going to have a look at our engine memory setup in our Cebus machines. So you join me back up in the cab of our Cebus machine. Firstly looking at some of the settings and adjustments we can make in terms of our engine RPM. So we have engine memories as standard on our Cebus machines. We can see that we have buttons number one and two here located as our engine memories. So we can see at the moment at the bottom of our screen, number one is assigned as 1700 revs, number two is assigned at 2000 revs. If we have a hexashift machine, we can have a further specification of cruise control, which these are then also linked to, which we would then switch between our engine revs and our cruise control. But we'll talk about that in a bit more detail in another video. So how do we set our memories? Well firstly, very simply, we can select our RPM using either our foot throttle or our hand throttle here to maybe 1500 RPM. We could then press and hold the number one button for three seconds. We would hear an audible chime and this would then save that 1500 revs as engine memory number one. We can then back off our hand throttle. We could then fine tune this RPM by using the plus and minus keys we have here on the side of the armrest. But this being a Cebus machine, we have another way of also doing this. So looking at the home page, or I should say the in-field display of our Cebus screen, we see our silhouette of our tractor. And what we would be able to do is tap on our engine symbol, and we would then see that we have firstly our engine memory number one and number two here assigned that we can directly adjust from our screen. So as we said, we can then set this to 1500 revs as an example. So nice setting through our screen. We have a maximum engine speed limitation option here as well. Essentially, this is an on or off value in which we can limit the RPM of our machine in any use case that we would find this useful. So maybe, for example, in field work where we don't want the maximum rated RPM of the machine available to us. So here I can maybe set this to 1700 RPM in this example. This would then be a further on or off value by the switch located on the right hand side of the armrest you can see here. By tapping this once, we turn this function on and now the RPM will no longer rise above 1700 revs. And by tapping it again, we then turn this off and we have the full RPM of the engine available to us. So a nice simple functionality there to bring the fuel consumption of the machine down in certain use cases. So, thank you for watching everyone. Please feel free to check out some of the other videos in relation to your own machine. And for any further information, don't hesitate to contact your local dealer.